Okay, here's our latest work with Bully Mech. Uh, notice the mesh being built around Bully Mech. One of the really tricky engineering things is spatial awareness as it, term, as it relates to mixed reality. And we've got some debug code here that the programmers use. You can see a bunch of metrics about what's going on, where Bully Mech is placed. And I'm looking around the model so that it does a proper scan of the room. Now that I got him, I'm behind Bully Mech. Let me select him. And now I can just place him on the ground right there. And you can see in real life, which isn't real life, in the movies, Bully Mech is like 12 feet tall, right? So let me get him 12 feet tall. Holy cow. That is freaking awesome. I am looking straight up in the air. There's his head. And he's, he's probably 14 foot tall here. So let me bring him down. Yeah, there we go. That is spectacular. God, we've done, oh, we've come a long way with this model. The amazing thing about this, if it's not com immediately evident, is that in the movies you have giant server farms and you render 3D content for days and days and days with a bunch of machines uh, to get this, you know, CGI type 3D holographic effect. Well, in a MR device like the Microsoft HoloLens that I'm wearing right now, you, you can't afford that luxury. This has to be rendered in real time. And we need to animate this guy in real time. And you can see his performance is spectacular. Our next steps are actually going to, uh, we're going to introduce some artificial intelligence and uh, do some commands and uh, for Bully Mac and let him talk back and we'll have him walk and because we have spatial awareness, see the table and such, we can say things like, hey, Bill, Bully, come and sit on this chair. And he could do that type of thing or jump up on the table. Uh, but I cannot tell you how pleased I am by the work Dan Hannon and his engineering team has done on this. This is pretty much spectacular. I hope you guys like it too. Man, I'm impressed.